But if I seen someone I knew coming in the hallway, I was damn near going the other way. Like that was the first time I learned to do that. But I seen it and I was like, damn, that's body shaming my boy. It is brutal. Always have spit around her mouth, bro. I joined the world's scariest call. I'm not gonna lie, my life would have been in danger if I posted that video. They bring me into like creepy rooms, all types of stuff in a field. Bro, it was terrifying. It was actually terrifying. It's two people. I'm sure we all, I, like they're one of the biggest channels. I go up. <sighs> Weird, bro. This is the story of how I got arrested. Passenger, get out the car. Put your hands on your head. They're searching our car now, and now I'm in handcuffs on the boulevard. So here we go. I'm like, ah, nice. First 48 hours in LA, and I'm about to get arrested. All right, boom. I think this is good. YouTube. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. I gotta stop clapping. I always clap in my videos. Whatever time it is for you, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in to the one and only. Came Bailey, bruh. I went ahead and purchased a lot of food from Wingstop. It's actually not that much, but they gave me a massive bag. Why do they give such a big bag? It's not really eco-friendly. For the Bev, we have some uh, Coke. I got thirsty on the way home and drank some, and Premier drank some. That's why there's a straw in it already, and it's already almost gone. But yeah, just some Coke. But let me show y'all what's in the bag. We got some lemon pepper cajun fries i have never tried these this is gonna be my first time i don't know if y'all have ever tried these but they smell good i'm not gonna lie they smell hella good wait did not there's no way they didn't give me blue cheese oh okay 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 for the sauce dipping sauce we got this looks like ranch even though i asked for blue cheese i'm pretty sure this is ranch i already deserve a refund it's a good thing i keep this in my whip at all times because hopefully this is blue cheese Oh, and it's not. Just another bottle of ranch. Wingstop. I asked for blue cheese. Y'all said y'all would give me blue cheese, but it's whatever. At least they have their logo on their ranch. That's kind of cool. The main event, some wings. Hey, what wings do y'all think I got? I kept it pretty simple today. I, I didn't go too crazy, but I've never tried this one flavor I got. So I got mild and I got Hawaiian. I don't know. I've never tried Hawaiian. Mild is just mild. Maybe I should have this bag here as decoration. Well, nah, they didn't even sponsor this video. Why would I put their bag in it? These look hella juicy and saucy and etc. Anyways, the glasses are coming off. Oh my God. Anytime I don't get a lot of sleep or whatever, I just wear the glasses because they kind of just, they just like hide the bags and they just make it just better. A lot of people are asking about them. They're chrome hearts. They're actually super crazy. They have this on the lens too. I'm pretty sure I got scammed on Facebook Marketplace for them, but I'm not um, I'm not too sure. Let's try these lemon pepper Cajun fries. Hopefully they're not spicy because I don't like spicy that much. It's not that I don't like spice that much, but I can't handle it. I do like it, I just can't handle it. We'll take one plain first for measures. Cold, but pretty good. Nah, that's really good actually, hold on. Let's try with the ranch. valid valid but we're gonna put them down for now guys if you start on fries you're crazy because my whole life people always start on fries was like then you're full when you want to eat like your burger steak like then you're full so it, i don't know that never made sense to me also i forgot to mention with the glasses they literally are prescription bro so everybody's saying why is he wearing glasses all the time now why is he all of a sudden have glasses like blah, blah, blah. bro they're pres nah they're not even prescription i got your ass i just like them why do i why do i need to have bad vision to wear glasses i if i if i like them i'm gonna wear them like what all right coke taste test it's coke i think i'm gonna start with the mild wings first it smells so good bro because mild i already know i like you know here it is check it out dip is that OD amount of ranch? Be honest, guys. It's... That is so good, bro. Second dip. I, I feel like a drumstick is only two dips. Forgive me if this is like a weird video. I don't really know how to do a mukbang. I've never done a mukbang before. I did one with JR one time when I was just in the backseat. I didn't even make YouTube at the time. And we got Dave's Hot Chicken. I don't know if he ever dropped the video, but that was the only mukbang I ever did. And I think I said like five words the whole time. And now it's just me eating food in front of a camera. So I feel a little bit uncomfortable and I don't know what to talk about, but we're going to get into some stuff. Have you, bro, you live in LA. Have you never seen someone make a video in their car before? 
it's like extra uncomfortable for me too because i've never liked eating in front of people like it, it was low-key always like a fear of mine like at school like on lunchtime i would always be walking with my food like i i, I felt so weird just sitting and like eating in front of someone like, unless the table's talking and it's busy like sitting there and eating just makes me super uncomfortable and i just feel weird but but i low-key got over that fear so this is like is a little weird for me dipping the hawaiian in let me know if y'all like hawaiian is that too much ranch Hawaiian is so good. It's like a pineapple-y, it's kind of like honey garlic, bro. It's like a honey pineapple garlic-ish thing. But they don't have honey garlic in America. Wait, do y'all have honey garlic in America? I don't think so. If you get food and you don't get sweet and salty, like, or just wings or gas station, like, how do you not get sweet and salty? You need, like, chips and gummies. A freaking Jimmy, what are those things called? Like a sausage thing and a Pop-Tart. You know, like, you need sweet and salty. And that's what I go for when I get wings. So you can get the best of both worlds on some Hannah Montana type shit. The other day, someone talked about the Hannah Montana show, and bro, it just brought me back to when, like, I would wake up for school, Hannah Montana's playing, eating some cereal, just going to school, but uh, do my ABCs, learn to count to 10, and now in a month, I'm gonna be 20, bro. That shit really, like, is crazy. Like, 18, I was like, okay, I'm an adult now. It's, that's, that's old. That's pretty old. 19, I was like, damn, I'm 19. Like, I'm old. 19 is old, bro. And I was like, 20? Like, 20 is crazy. I'm not a teenager anymore. Like, that's crazy. Like, how am I not a teenager anymore, bro? As I go through life, I just realize one thing. I'm always going to be mentally, like, 16, bro. Always going to be mentally 18. I feel like 18 is, like, was, like, my cap mentally. Like, after 18, like, yes, I go through more. I learn more. I get wiser. But mentally, bro, I, I feel like I'm just always going to be 18. Like, I can never see myself be like growing into like a boring like lifeless adult or the old person you know i just can't i should start getting hot bro i think mild isn't hot enough it isn't hot at all also it's funny because when you're a kid you think like adults are like the most wise mature almost perfect humans like they're just they're just grown and they just know everything and they're just the best example. They know everything. And then you slowly become an adult and you're like, damn, I don't know shit. Like, I, I'm like, y'all are, we're in the same boat here. Like, you are not uh, like, yeah, you're raising kids, but like, I don't know how to explain what I'm thinking. It's just adults aren't that advanced in life as you really think they are. Like, yes, they have wisdom and they've been through more things, which is key to life, by the way, live and learn. It's like the most key thing ever. If you can go through any experience, good or bad, and just take something and learn from it, like something that's really good or something that's really bad, I promise your life is just gonna be get keep getting better because you're gonna keep learning. Like, let's say I, um, let's take, bro, let's just say I walk out this car right now. Let's say I walk on my crib, what's it? The best thing you could do is try to get a lesson out of everything and then actually like work on work on like that lesson you learned so in high school bro i was so awkward at first like i did not know how to talk to people especially after covid like it just messed me up like i don't i didn't know how to communicate with people if i ran into bro if i seen someone i knew coming in the hallway i was damn near going the other way like i i feared like if i was walking my dog and i seen someone else coming it was like oh my god now i have to like talk to this person and bro i would go home and like analyze in my head like I would have a conversation with someone and then I would go home and be like, what, like, where did I go wrong in that conversation? What could I made, what could I have done, said to make that conversation better and become better at communicating? And bro, I literally would be in bed like, okay, next time, like, think of a topic, like, next time, hear them out more. Next time, as they're speaking, think of something next to talk about so that the conversation doesn't end and get awkward, you know? Things like that, it was just like, Bro, you just live and learn, and that was the first time I learned to do that, to live and learn. Like, all right, I need to keep doing that because clearly it's helping me, so I'm going to keep doing that. I learned that I should keep doing that. Or I learned that I'm going to do that, but a little differently next time, and, and for the next time, and next time, and next time. Let's try one of these. I never knew how sus I looked eating wings, bro. Also, talking about comments earlier, it's kind of crazy because I've never really got a lot of hate comments throughout my career, and I've said that before. And I'm super thankful for that. Like, But when I do get a hate comment, it usually has something to do with like me being skinny. Or, yeah, me being skinny. And the other day, someone commented on my like Instagram post. And it was like a girl, and she was like, 
eat more skinny i i gotta put the comment up here i'm gonna put the comment right here it was like eat more bro i don't know i don't know what it said exactly but i seen it and i was like damn never really looked at it like this but like that's that's body shaming my boy i think it was just more crazy to me because it wasn't like a little fake account or like it was like a real person like they had followers like it was weird only one mile left that's too much ranch. Yes or no? Uh, I'm, I, I think I'm getting sick of the Hawaiian. I'm not going to lie. I should start doing mukbangs where I just react to shit. I actually did film a video reacting to my followers drip, but I just didn't post it because I was like, who am I to tell people like, eh, that's an 8 out of 10. I mean, or like, eh, that's a 6 out of 10. That's a 10 out of 10. Like, who am I to tell you that you're fit, that you put together, that you took time to like, you were like, oh, this is hard. Like, I'm going to put this on. Who am I to tell you that shit is not a 10 out of 10? Because, yeah, like, I would look at something and be like, oh, that's not drip, my boy. That is not drip. And then I'm like, damn. Because fashion is just literally just opinion-based. There's things that trend and stuff, obviously. <laughs> but for the most part, like, fashion is, like, your personality in your outfit. Some dude could be walking in front of me right now with, like, a whole colorful, lime green, full-down outfit. And that's because that's how he feels. That's, like, that's his personality. He's very outgoing. He's very whatever. Who am I in my white and black only outfit to judge him? Like, that's how it feels, bro. I feel better in like a white and black, you know, something calm. And that's just how it is. I'm done with the Hawaiian, bro. I can't do it. By the way, this is like a pound and a half, pound and a half of wings, or like two pounds. I don't know. I think I'm gonna get Premier to deliver me a Cinnabon in a second. Really hope I'm not one of those people that have like white shit in the corners of their mouth right now. Bro, that'd be the worst. You're talking to someone and they have like spit and I've, I've definitely been there before it is brutal i remember I had this one teacher who would always have spit around her mouth bro i was in like grade three and i was noticing it like she would talk and just like her whole mouth would foam up like every single time she spoke it would just be like foam and then she like licked the paper and like put her foam all over like our sheets and shit that shit was crazy and i bagged it as like a like a like a grade three or whatever it's called well, let's switch the fries for a bit now that i think about it there's actually a lot of videos that y'all have not seen i probably have like four videos that i filmed edited made a thumbnail for and they they ne and i just didn't post them one was that fashion video it was called like rating my followers drip and i just felt bad oh another one i posted that y'all be asking about is i joined the world's scariest cult i don't know what it was called i think i joined the world's scariest cult y'all be asking about that one bro because i actually posted it like the premiere i posted the premiere and it was going out the next day and in that 24 hours i was just like nah, i can't post this and the reason i i didn't post it not because it was a bad video i'm not gonna lie my life would have been in danger if i posted that video these cajun pepper wings are hella good the reason i would have been in danger is because i made a video exposing scientology which is like a religion but really is a cult basically what i did is i went to their like main office in la and i went in with my camera bro these people need to what the fuck? i basically just went to their main um like building in la it's this big blue building and i went in with the camera asking to get a tour minute i walk in they're like you can't record so i'm like yeah something suspicious goes down here the whole time i have to hide my phone while recording bro i make this whole video they bring me into like creepy rooms all types of stuff and it's supposed to be like a church but this shit was weird bro everyone there their eyes were like either light light blue or light light green and just like they just look soulless yeah, i swear to god i'm literally getting chills thinking about it and then i sat in a field i sat in a field over here at three in the morning i sat in a field alone no one was with me and I like narrated the whole thing with like a mic and like a flashlight on me in a field. Bro, it was terrifying. It was actually terrifying. And then I spent like two days editing this video. Premiere makes a thumbnail and I'm like, dang, is this too scary to put out? Like, is this too like crazy? And then I was also like, dang, are they going to like, is Scientology people going to come like get me and shit? Oh, because when I went in, I had to give my name and number. So they knew who I was. They probably searched me up. They knew. I told them I was a YouTuber too. I'm so stupid. So yeah, they would have seen the video and probably kidnapped me. But let me know. Let me know if I should post it. I'm, I'm scared, but I, I might do it if y'all really want it. Oh, I'm getting full. The moment I realized celebrities are actually like low-key weird people was at last year's Streaming Awards. And I could probably get in trouble for saying this, but 
I, I'm not gonna say the name of the person. I'm, I definitely am not gonna say the name of the person because that would just be a little messed up. But I was at a streaming awards party and this YouTuber that I grew up watching, bro, it's two of them and one of them. Like, there, it, it's two people. I'm sure we all, I, like, they're one of the biggest channels. And I grew up watching them, too. Like, I, re I really did. And I see one of them at the Streamy Awards, and I'm like, damn, I should, I'm, I'm going to go up to them. I don't really go up to people, but, like, I'm going to go up to them. Because, like, I grew up watching him, like, and everyone there was kind of lit. So, it was just like, eh. I go up. I go up, and it was just, oh, it was weird, bro. It, I can't even say too much, but, like, damn, it was just, like, it was just unfortunate. Like, disappointing is the word. It was just, like ugh like really they, you're the person i used to like look up to and like watch every day <sighs> share your flavor oh also speaking of like these youtubers celebrities being weird bro did y'all see that mom who just got arrested she was like a, a youtube family person that's crazy bro she got a arrested for abuse on her kids which is so wild because she's a whole family channel. And like, she was like a parenting channel. Like she was teaching people how to parent their kids. And then if you watch the clips now, it's like, damn, like there's signs everywhere. Like this is not healthy. This is not good. This is how I wanted to eat them the whole time, but I didn't want to get both my hands wet. And then you just go like this, dip. I need to learn more about that though. Cause that was crazy. I didn't do my research on it, but Premier said like, the kids went to the neighbors when they were on a play date. They went to the neighbors and told them like, hey, we're getting abused or some shit. It's really crazy. Shout out to the kids though for like voicing themselves and standing up for themselves because they just saved their lives. It's hella unfortunate though. Like my condolences genuinely go out to that family. I've set them on, bruh. F*** you. As I finish off this last wing, I want to reflect on like some of the best moments of my teenage years. I should do a whole video like how to survive being a teenager because I'm sure some of y'all are like just either just beginning teenager, halfway through being a teenager. I should make a whole video about that. One of the best moments that comes to mind first off is it's hard to say like all of them, obviously. Like, it was the summer of 2021. I just got to LA. I was on a trip for my first time in LA. PZ scoops me and my bros in a Benz. And we just start skirting around the boulevard in this like three hundred, like $100,000 whip. I don't know how much this whip is, but it was a lot. This is the story of how I got arrested, which y'all want to know. I don't think I've ever told the story. So we, bro picks us up. We're in this whip. We're skirting around. We're feeling crazy. Just touched down in LA. Mans are just on roads. Like these are all my Toronto dogs too. So like it was all the Toronto mans in LA. It was just a crazy moment. We stop at like a tattoo shop and we go in on the boulevard. We park real quick, run into the store, come out and there's police sitting like behind us. Just just like watching from their car kind of, even though we're not doing anything wrong. And bro starting the car, he's like, hopefully they don't start following us. Starts the car, boom, following us. They start following us as we're driving and they put on their sirens and horn and we're like, what? What did we do, bro? What, what, like, what did we do? I'm sitting there like, damn, did I put myself in this situation? Like, I don't know what. Maybe there's something in this car. Because none of us can get arrested. Like, we, we're from Canada. We can't get deported. Like, we just got here. Like, we're not trying to get sent back to Canada. So eventually, we pull over. And the cops pull up behind us. It's just one cop car. On the loudspeaker. Get out the car, driver. Get out the car. With your hands on your head. Bro, I'm in the backseat. Like, what the? This is some GTA. Like, I'm really in GTA right now. My bro gets out the car like this, bro. I kid you not. Like, bro gets out like this. Passenger, get out the car. Put your hands on your head. Passenger, bro gets at the whip like this. Me and my bro are in the back seat. Back seat, get out the car. I'm like, damn, bro, why you gotta come for me? I, I, I bro, I did not do shit, bro. So here we go. I'm like, ah, nice. First 48 hours in LA and I'm about to get arrested. Bro, these dudes say, lean against the car. Lean against the car like, bro, I've never had a run in with the cops in America before, but I've only heard things. So now I'm fearing for my life because I don't know how, they get down different here. We're all leaned up against the car. The cops come and put my bro in handcuffs. I'm like, damn, what did he do, bro? What did he do that he didn't tell us? Then they go, rest. They oh, mind you, now there's two more cop cars came. Two more cop cars came for four of us, bro. There's four of us and there's three cop cars now and there's like six cops they say oh get line up against the wall like bro we're on the boulevard mind you we're on the boulevard like y'all could have been on the boulevard and been like oh my gosh what happened to kid like he's getting arrested you no know, like bro they tell us go stand against the wall go stand against the wall we all go stand against the wall with our hands behind our back bro this shit's crazy and i'm like how am i in this position like how did i get here i didn't i literally did not do anything 
I was just hyped to be in LA. So we're all lined up and they start putting cuffs on my friend, next friend, the next friend, and I'm last. And I'm like, okay, hey, maybe they all did something and I'm good. Not then boom, I'm in cuffs. All of a sudden I'm getting, putting handcuffs on me. Y'all can see in the clip, like I just have a Blue Jays jersey on, just like, just touched down. I was just making TikToks right before it. And now I'm in handcuffs on the boulevard. So anyways, now there's a bunch of cops here questioning us. Fuegs is pissed. He's like, I don't got to answer shit. Like, I'm like, bro, we're in America. Please don't, like, please don't do this right now. Like, this is not the time. This is not the time to argue. Like, we're not arguing with American cops. Bro. And it turns out after, like, pff, I don't know how long. We're, we're, we're in cuffs for, like, 30 minutes to an hour. I don't know how long. There's, like, six cops watching us. We're in cuffs for, like, we're just standing up against this wall for, like, probably an hour. Oh, and civilian, the person who, no, there's civilians walking by, like, what happened? I'm like, I'm like, yo, can y'all record? And then they record it, and I'm like, I'm telling them my number, like, blah, 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 that's my number, send it to me. That's how I got the video, so shout out to whoever recorded that. Anyway, so we're on handcuffs. They're searching our car now. They have, like, cops or, like, flashlights all over our car. Like, what, like, what is in the car that I don't know about? Am I missing something? They walk out, and they just start putting, uh, taking off our handcuffs. And they're like, all right, you guys are good to go. Please get those tints removed. I'm sorry, whoa, hold on, pa hold on, pause, pause, please. Everyone pause for a second. You just pulled us over and put us in handcuffs for an hour and searched our car from top to bottom with security dogs to come back and tell us that it was because we had tints on our car? I could not believe it. I literally could not believe it. How did we get to this point because we had tints? Like you couldn't have pulled us over and been like, I pulled you over because you have tints on your car. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll get them taken down. All right, perfect, thanks, have a good one. You too, man, have a good one. Like, we couldn't have done that. So, yeah, that was crazy. I mean, I got a little content out of it. And I got to tell this story now. And I got to tell my kids, you know, uh, you know, your father got arrested back in the day. I think they ended up writing us to, like, a $500 ticket, too. Anyways, I appreciate y'all for watching. This is something super different that i never done before. So, if you like it, let me know, bro. Drop a like and comment. Like, let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you want to see me have a special guest next time. I'll see y'all in the next video, bro.